the Luton. Bon an matin, on everyone. Good morning. You guys ready to learn some Esperanto? I'm ready to learn some Esperanto. I've been um, gaming, game streaming a lot this week, playing a lot of the Division actually, and uh, it's been it's been weird to stream a uh, to stream a game instead of my uh, my typical Esperanto. I guess it's weird that I. It's weird that I use uh, Twitch now in the normal way it was designed <laughs> after using it like this for so long. It just feels bizarre. I like it, though. Um, so I've been doing a little bit of gaming. I started a Division Agent on PC. I already have it on Xbox, so... Um, it's not an entirely new game, but I did miss it. So, uh, so today we're going to be doing more Esperanto, and... We're not too far down the tree. If you are just joining because you, uh, oh shit, look at that. Ladies and gentlemen, that is Sheriff Mongo, the very first person to enter Brujala and my very first subscription. Uh, welcome to the stream and thank you for being my, my first sub. <laughs> uh, I'm so excited. So, um. If you guys don't follow me on uh, Twitter, uh, which you should, because that's where most of my live notifications are, uh, last night um, I made affiliate, um, so now I am able to do bits and subscriptions on Twitch, um, and I have a little bit, I think I have a little bit more, more control over ad preferences, I don't, I don't know, I have to look into that, but um, I couldn't have done it at all without the Esperanto community because you guys have been such an integral core part of um, coming in and visiting me and, and hanging out with me every week and, and developing me as an Esperantist and as a person, as an streamer. Um, so thank you. And uh, hopefully today will be the best stream since it's now technically is now a more official stream. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> probably not. <laughs> It'll probably be full of... Uh, issues. Uh, Bonan. Hello, Amazulo. Nice to see you. And Jay Creed, Saluton. How are you both today? How, how were your weeks? Did you have good New Year's? Oh, man. I have a, I have a subscription now. I'm so excited. Now I'm, I can officially say I'm a Twitch streamer instead of just a not just a stay-at-home, but in addition to being a stay-at-home mom. It's like I have a job again. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> um, actually, before we jump into this, uh, shoot, maybe I should... I do a clothing first? No, I said I wasn't going to do it. Did I do it? Very good news, you went to bed at nine? My God, my baby stayed up. I probably would have been to bed by like 11, but he was up past midnight, so I had to be awake past midnight. Uh, let's look at the tips and tricks, or the tips and notes. <clears throat> it's been a, been a busy week, so I haven't been, I haven't been practicing, practicing my Esperanto as much, or enough. I guess I'd nev I've ne I, I'm never practicing enough. I'm not familiar with Kelkai. I know Kai is and. Is that like a together word? Okay. Oh, yes. So, questions. This is where we left off. Because before we really only had questions with Chu. And uh, Kiel, right? Kiel Vifarthas, basically. Oh, a few, some. So it's kind of like, and, but, and not a lot. <laughs> and some. <laughs> um, oh, yes. The correlatives. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah, that might just be make, me looking for compound words now, because I'm just so used to it in Esperanto that I'm like, I'm ingrained to, like, break down the words now into things that I've seen before. Um, <clears throat> but, let's see. Uh, I'm really glad that I'm starting this questions one so early on in the stream. Because uh, I think it's going to take a while. Let me fix these, this light a little bit. It was... Whew. 
too much. <clears throat> okay, so. And then we have the cheese. Okay, I gotta just get into it. We, we'll go back to this if I need to, but I feel like I'm so rusty. I'm just looking at the grammar rules um, plain, and that's not helping. People make jokes and puns. Yeah, you break apart words. Like, uh, you know, how many... Well, of course, now the one time I try to think of a pun, I, like the one time I've got nothing. Uh, I'm usually a dad joke machine, but... Um, <clears throat> but yeah, that's what it is in English too, right? So isn't that just inherently Esperanto evolving as a language that has its own like jokes and stuff? Um, Chuvi, ooh, I haven't seen this yet. Kappa, Kabbalah? Ka, Kapablas? Kapablas? Capable? Ka Kapablas? Chuvi, Kapablas, Paroli, Pliol, du Lingvon? Lingvon? Excuse my French. <laughs> Um, so this is Chu. This is how we know it's a question, right? Chu V, are you capable? Paroli is to speak or speaking. So are you capable of speaking pliol more than do two and ling languages? So are you capable of speaking more than two languages? Instruistoi ofte havas demandoin, sed infanoi ne ofte havas respondoin. Okay, so we have a new word here, but it looks like demand. So questions. So you have, um, what is it in English when you have a question? You're making, like there's an exclamatory sentence, there's... What's the one for question? It's not just question. Isn't there a fancy word for it? Interrogative. There you go. I was hoping that there would be something within those that would help me um, think of... I guess I would have to think of questions as in, like, demanding answers of someone, maybe, that'll help me remember it. If I'm thinking of, like, that person is asking questions, they are... Seeking answers, demanding answers. So, well, we know this is instructors, right? Instruisto. Instruisto ofte havas demandoin, sed infanoi ne ofte havas respondoin. So, instruisto, instruisto ofte havas demandoin, sed infano ne oft, ofte havas respondoin. Respondoin? Instruistoi ofte havas demandoin, sed infanoi ne ofte havas respondoin. Respondoin. So, but children, right? Infants, uh, but children. Or I guess it's actually closer to, um, it's, it's not really children, but, or it's not really infants, but you know what I mean. Um, but children do not, ne ofte, not often have answers but but children do not oh i forgot a word in there that was on that was on me pastuli pastuli so that would be more of like a command right like a boot camp <laughs> like you're going to do this <laughs> uh kias uh, so that's new as well. Who's? So whose friend, right? Amiko. Whose friend is she? He is Amiko esta she. Io Saluta. Domo. Chu vividas jin? Oh, so you were both at the... What? What is this J-E-S thing? Is it like a conference? Uh, 
Uh, io. Something. Oh, io, something. So something estas, something is in the house, in la domo. This seems like a familiar sentence. Have I seen this sentence before? Oh, okay. Question versus demand. So it's not too um, connotation, right? Actually, let me bring up Sorry, that just was huge. Um <laughs> I'm going to bring this up real quick because sometimes that can help. There we go. I didn't have any background noise on or anything. And so it was just, just the sound of my voice and not being able to hear anything in the background was really like, it was like being in an empty room talking to myself. So, uh, I had to turn on like a noise machine in the background. So, uh, JES is a new year's Esperanto party. Oh, very cool. Um, alternates between Germany and Poland. A week long Esperanto. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thanks for the bit, Sheriff Mongo. That is a gigantic alert that I absolutely need to fix. I don't know what just happened there. <laughs> Sick of the whole screen. Oh, Jana, you just joined? Oh, welcome. <laughs> bon on, ben on. Thank you for joining us in the stream. I hope that you have fun speaking to other Esperanto people. I sure do. It's fun to chat live instead of just on like Facebook or Reddit or something. Um, though I've learned of some programs that you can use to chat back and forth in Esperanto too. So I'm gonna once I get a little bit more fluent, I'm a, I'm a little nervous to delve into it at this juncture. <laughs> uh, okay. Where are we at? Something is in the house. Io estas en la domo. Chu vi vidas gin? Chu vi vidas gin. And do you... Chu vi... Do you see it? Vidas gin. La respondo ne estas facila. <laughs> it's the cool play. <laughs> It's a very small group of very cool people. <laughs> uh, la respondo ne estas facila. La respondo ne estas facila. Uh, the answer is not easy. Ne estas not is not. Teachers often have questions. I, I automatically just don't want to say often now. And when I see the word often, I'm just like, I'm cutting off the end of it. <laughs> uh, teachers often have questions, but children do not have answers. Uh, so this was the insteristoi. Ofte demandoin. Uh, not bongusta, because that would be delicious. Uh, insteristoi ofte habas demandoin. Yes. Said infano. Yes. Ne ofte havas respondoin. Looks good to me so far. And then this one is no, because this is questions often have instructors or have teachers, um, but answers do not have. Is that flowers? That would not make any sense. <laughs> la demanda de la instruisto estas tre facila. Oh, I knew you'd. I knew the. Um, Moyoso would come up uh, in a compound word. I thought I was thinking actually um, yesterday about the stream, and I was, I was like, I wonder if that's going to come up because we had seen uh, Moyoso. I think in the last stream we learned about it. Yeah, we were talking about how people kind of use that as a way to make slang terms um, or uh, use it to. I don't know, we were talking about cool beans. <laughs> so that'd be mo moyos uh, egg ayo. Yeah. 
Bo na mecenat se nesprulo. Bo ne, kaj vi? La demando de la instruisto estas tre facila. So, the question... The teacher's question. So, this is... Uh, this messes me up all the time, right? So, the question of the teacher. But I can't... And I mean, I guess I could write that in English and it people would get it. But that's something that um, if you speak another language and you're uh, translating into English, possessives can get a little weird because we just use this apostrophe, right? So, um, the teacher's question, la demando de la instruisto, estas tre, very, facile, easy. Chi al vi ne respondas mian demandon? Chi al vi... Chi al vi? That's why... Why don't you respond to my question? Chi al vi ne respondas mian demandon? Chi al vi ne respondas mian demandon? Right, so that's why ne respondas, why or why don't you answer my question? Mian. Um, this came up on, on, actually, I put on the, so I posted on the Reddit for Duolingo, or I posted on the subreddits for Esperanto and for language learning that I did this. Um, the Esperanto uh, subreddit's great for it. They, they've always been really receptive. But Glove was on there, and of course she was like right away, she was like, you used the wrong me. And I was like, ah! Oh. <laughs> I was trying so hard to like pay attention to the rest of uh, everything I was doing that I used the I used me instead of Mia. She called me out on it. You knew. <laughs> I'm move this over here. There we go. <laughs> oh, bananas and climate change, huh? That would have been fun. <laughs> uh, why is my answer bad? So why is Kial? Uh, Kial mia respondo, my answer. Mia respondo, estas malbona. Uh, malbona is bad, right? Not good. La instruisto demandas la knabo in pri io. La instruisto, our teacher, demandas, she questions... Asks, okay, so questions and asks are the same. Uh, la knabinoi. This is the boy's pre oi. About something? I, uh, pre, pre oi. Pre io? La instruisto demandas la knabo in pre io. Pre, pre, pre io? Ooh, that is a hard. La instruisto demandas la knabinoi pre o. Prioi? La instruisto demandas la knabo in pri io. I O. I gotta write that down. The post its are coming out already. I O. It's almost like E E Y O. You know, like a. Uh, that. Yeah. So. <laughs> I'll bring it up like this. La instruisto demandas la knabinoi pri io. Oh, I wrote that in orange and I can't see that at all. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm really trying to be conscious of it, but it's just come, it's so not native to me. Even as somebody who grew up in Southern California and speaking a little bit of Spanish, I, that is still something that I never... Um, got like I can roll an R for a really long time I just can't roll it for a short amount of time in the middle of a word <laughs> and that's a specifically short word too so uh, the teacher asks the boys about something okay at that point couldn't you just say the te well I know that they're teaching but um, we could say the teacher asks the boys something right Nothing. Should I just drag it out really long? Like I'll be like, prioi, prioi. <laughs> uh, she demandas. She asks. 
You do taps? What is that? What does that mean? Um, she asks on me. She asks to me, right? Um, we're using Al there because she is directing the question towards me. Is that correct? Because otherwise... Well, I was thinking it might be Min here, but I guess not. So she asks me, right, whether I have bread. You should definitely do a video about it on your YouTube channel. I'd, I'd totally share that around because I've learned Esperanto on and off for years and I'd never heard anything about it. Short trill. Oh, I was just looking at that. Sh shrenko? Shrenko? Yeah, because that's like an S S H R. Sure. But I, I don't. Like, my English mouth wants to put an I or a U or like something in there between them. Quies libro estas tiu? Um, whose book, right? Li libro. Uh,. Yes, libro. Yes, libro estas tiu. Estas tiu. Whose book is that? Tiu? Kial mi respondo estas malbono? Why is my answer bad? Or incorrect? Well, no, this is more bad than incorrect. Instruistoi ofte havas demandoin, sed infanoi ne ofte havas respondoin. So here again, we have teachers do not or often have questions, but children do not often have answers. Oh, Evil Dia or Evil Dia, is it Evil Dia or Evil Dia? Dia? She did some? They did some, I guess. Oh my gosh, 50%. Oh, I, I've heard that uh, somebody said that the Duolingo app now has, um, they said it has like some sort of, you have to, you have to pay to continue playing if you make too many mistakes or something like that. Um, I saw some backlash about it on Reddit, but since I used the web version, I wasn't quite sure what, it, what was going on. Maybe, uh, maybe San Esperula will both go one year. <laughs> once, uh, once I'm fluent in this, <laughs> we'll, we'll all meet up there. Mia patro ne scias kion respondi. Uh, my father... Ne scias? Mia patro ne scias kion respondi. Ne scias? Doesn't know what to answer. Um... Net sias. So sias itself is just to know something, huh? And kion is what? Who doesn't know that or doesn't know what? Doesn't know that answer or doesn't know what to answer? Could maybe both be correct. Uh, mi bezonas? Need. It's been a while since we saw that one. Am I saying that Z right? <laughs> Z equals Z, not S. Okay, yeah. Bezonas. Uh, C? Is this the... Is this more like a TSC noise? Like C? La Veron? So, I want to know... Or, I know... Not I want to know. I need. This is need, right? I need to know... Twenty twenty, yeah, that might not be too bad. I need to know la the truth, la vera. La vero estas grava. La vero estas grava. This this one the tiets, what was it? 
a C? C at C? Is that more like a... Like that? <laughs> I'm like trying to... I'm like trying to type for the chat. I know it's going to be a... It'll be delayed a little bit, but... Um, La vero estas grava. The truth is grave, is important. Okay. Thank you for coming, Amazulo. It was nice to see you again. Thanks uh, for encouraging it. <laughs> I'll see you around in the groups and maybe next week. Kien Adamo volas iri? Kien, where Adamo? Where does Adam want to go? Kien Adamo volas iri? Where does Adamo want to go? Or where does Adam want to go? I feel like sometimes it'll translate Adam to Adamo to Adam, and sometimes it won't. Uh, Mikonas? I know. So, is this Konas the same as the C? C? Okay, so there's almost like another E at the end. It's like a, th a three-syllable word. That's a great example. Um, I don't know those in Spanish. So, like this says, I know... So, is one to know something like like familiarity wise and one is to know something like educational wise so I assume you you talk more like um Okay, so one is more like formal knowledge, like um, book learning, knowing a recipe, um, language learning, stuff like that. And then Konas would be more like, oh, I've met her cat before. Or um, I know of that store because I've been there kind of thing. Okay. Okay. So C, C, E would be more, um, you'd use in, a, in like a multiple choice and stuff as well then. Chuvi uh, Konas. So this is going to be Konas, right? Because we're talking about somebody's father. Chuvi Konas Mian Petron. Chula demandoi estas gravai? Chula demandoi. Is the question question? Or is the is the question a question? Is the question important? Or are the questions important? I should have seen those J's and I didn't. Chutio estas vera. Okay, or knowing stuff on a okay, so that's what you would know on a test. But if I knew of the SATs because I had heard of them or I'm familiar with their existence, then I would use Konos. But if I'm taking the SATs and I'm like, I know the answer. C-E. Ooh, I like that word. Chutio estas vera? Knowing of or being... Oh, okay. So totally familiar with. Uh, so... Chutio estas vera? Chutio estas vera? Is that true? Mi legas gravain leteroin. Oh, I have, or I, I am reading important letters. Kion iliai ursoi manjas? What's the. Leketon le example? Oh. <laughs> Kion iliai ursoi manjas? Ui! Uh, Kion... Kion iliai ursoi manjas? Iliai ursoi... Ursoi? Kion iliai ursoi manjas? Manjas. Oh, that is a... That's a mouth shape. 
Kion Iliai Ursoi Manjas? What do bears eat? Oh, what do their bears eat? Their bear bears. <laughs> their bears are vegetarians. They're the strangest of bears. <laughs> uh, the only stranger bears are star bears. <laughs> Constellation bears. Probably in Esperanto, it's like Constellio or something. <laughs> uh, she wants to know whether I speak Esperanto. Um, so... She wants to know a fact, so she volas to to me parolas esperanto. To Iliatias, do they know? A uh, key that we speak La Anglan, the English language. Do they know that we speak English? Have a good one, Sinisperillo. Thanks for coming by. Have a good one. Gisela Revido. Estas grava tago en la parco. Uh, it's important? Oh, it's an important day in the park. Kion iliai ursoi manjas? Kion. So this is what do their bears eat? Right. What do their bears eat? Whew, my lanta. Let's get, some, let's get some verbs. Nivolas shanji jin. Shanji jin. Nivola shanji jin. Shanji jin. Ooh, she's trying to change jeans? No. She's trying to change it. Isn't the word for jeans similar to that? Um, we volas. We want to change. We want to change it. Nivolas shanji jin. Char. Nivolas shanji jin. Char ili neshatas jin. Char ili neshatas do not like. We want to change it because they do not like it. Okay. Vegetaranoi pensas ke viando estas malbona. So vegetarians think to be pensive, pensas. Vegetarians think that meat is bad. This comma use is really interesting that we don't, we don't use, we don't have that in English. Um, but I tend to get in trouble all the time for using uh, commas too colloquially. Um, I always have a... Uh, I like the Oxford commas. I use them when I take pauses and sentences. <laughs> I just write a lot like I speak. My voice is apparent in my writing. Uh, Vishatas? Vishatas vidi bestoin. Vishatas vidi bestoin. Vidi? She does like seeing animals. Or you. You like to see animals. Oxford comma is where it's at. Like, I don't want to eat coffee, or I don't want to eat, like, toast, eggs, and coffee. I want to eat toast, eggs, and coffee. I don't want my eggs and coffee to be one thing. I'm not going to eat toast, eggs, and coffee. It's gross. Well, actually, I guess, is it... Norway that they put an egg in their coffee? Somewhere they put egg yolks in their coffee, don't they? Am I, th am I crazy? 
the EO comma comes before key and before things like Q. It actually, I think it does make a lot of sense. Um, but we would kind of just use one or the other in English, right? Because we'd say vegetarians think blah, 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 blah. Or we'd say vegetarians think that blah, 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 blah. Um, but I would think it would be vegetarians think, comma, meat is bad. Like, I would think if you have the comma there, you don't necessarily need key. And maybe that's where... I like the one you showed to me. Mishatas Tiun. Hmm. Because that says, that technically says, I like, oh, that says really, I like that, right? And then it says the one that you showed to me. Okay, so that in Eng so I actually feel um, in English the that is almost redundant, right? Because you would say like vegetarians think that meat is bad. Well, it's the same thing to say vegetarians think meat is bad to say vegetarians think meat is bad. So it seems like something that like you kind of do in high school when you're trying to get your word count going. So it's good to know that in Esperanto it's not as flexible. Savivolas. So this is the first time I've seen this. If, if you want. Sevi volas. Sevi volas. Volas. I like that. Mishatas curi rapide. Um, mishatas curi. Curi? Mishatas curi rapide. Curi. Mishatas curi rapide. I like to run fast. Rapidly. Courier. I totally just forgot what the sentence the what the sentence I translated was in the time that you had said it. I was like, what? <laughs> uh, vegetarians think that meat is bad. I'll see it here at the end when it comes up to. Uh, she volas. She wants. She wants to send Cindy. She wants to send a letter, She wants to send you a letter, right? A letter to you. Me, me neshatas labori nocte. I do not like to work at night. I do like to work at night. I prefer working at night. La knaboj kaj la knabinoj kuras kune. Boys and girls. Okay, here we are. Yeah, kuri. So you're thinking um, running, like couriers would run, like Naruto style? Ramen deliveries? Kuras. Kuras. La knaboj kaj la knabinoj kuras kune. Kuras. Kuras kune. Run together. Kuras kune. Ni shanjas la vortoin en la libro. Oh, that's nice. Nope, don't have to sneeze. Uh, ni shanjas? Ni shanjas la vortoin en la libro. We are changing the words, la vortoin, en la libro, in the book. Mi curas en la parco, en la parco. Uh, I run in the park. I, I run in the park. I run in the parko. Now I'm starting to do that half English, half Esperanto thing now in my sentences where I'm like um, interposing between the two. She wants to send you a letter. She vola sendi a la veteran. She vola sendi al vi veteran. Can I say. Can I say she vola sendi letteran alvi? It seems like it would make more sense she to me. I don't know why. She changes Finn? She changes him? You? She changes you? Oh, 
Okay, so those can go back and forth. Oh, I never did tips and notes on this. Mm hmm. Hmm. So we know about these, right? That you're going to put an N here because that makes it the object of this sentence for transitive verbs who take an object. Sometimes, however, or sometimes, although the verb is transitive, the direct object is not expressed. So instead of saying, I drink juice, I'm just saying, like, I'm drinking. So, me drink us, yeah, or she leg us, she reads, without naming the thing or the person. So, because I don't care what she's reading, just she reads, right? Intransitive ver verbs never take objects. For example, me sidas, I am sitting, or la knabino curas, the girl is running. So, but couldn't you, you could be sitting on a chair and you could be running in a park, right? <laughs> Imagine in a, isn't a, oh, hi, by the way, hello, we're, nice to see you. <laughs> Taluton. Yavi Fartas. Um, isn't a... The word for chicken starts with K, doesn't it? Isn't it like a uh, cookie or... Yeah, there you go. Curry? Is it... How do you say that R? Is it cu curry? No, that's not the Esperanto one. What you're supposed to say, you can be honest, are you not doing well? Has the year not started off very good for you? I hope it's starting off well for you. Uh, please note rules concerning, so what, I don't understand what this means. So I have transitive verbs and then I have in, so. Like here, so this says me sidas, I'm sitting. So instead of saying I drink juice, couldn't I say, oh, but I wouldn't be sitting, I need a preposition, right? Because I'm sitting on a chair or I'm running in a park. I can't be sitting bed or something like that, right? Like you can drink juice, you can drink milk, you can eat meat, but you can't, you could sit down though. So could I say me sidas and then down? Verbs and objects are stricter in Esperanto than in English. Okay. So you could say he closes the door or the door closes. Though the meaning is different, because one is doing it to itself, right? Using the same verb, although the meaning is different. In the first example, someone performs the action, while in the second, the door is just becoming closed. So there could be two words for that. So, li, li fermas la pordon, he closes the door. And la porto fer, fermijas, the door closes. So there's fermas for somebody who's acting upon it. And that's kind of what the normal verbs look like, right? They follow the same kind of, strunct same kind of structure. Um, but this who's do doing it unto itself has more of this uh, little IG in it, right? So Esperanto distinguishes between comenci to start something and comencigi, comencigi to start happening. Because this would be somebody starting something, right? Somebody has to act upon it. And this is something happening on its own. So it looks like this IG is really like, gives it almost like an independence in the verb. They haven't, this is the, this is the first time we're, we're seeing IG, yeah. So it seems weird to me that they would, um, That it, they would teach it this way as right as part of a verb instead of teaching it as part of a suffix because it makes sense as like more of a a word modifier than it does as a verb 
director. You know what I mean? Last part of the course. Am I jumping, am I jumping ahead? <laughs> Um, so, la instruisto comenzas la lesión. Um, so, he's, so he's starting the lesson, right? Somebody's doing it themselves. And then here, the lesson is starting on its own or of its own accord. So we have this IG. But it literally just fits right between the C and the AS, right? So we're not changing the word. We're just injecting those two little characters in it. So you can also use it as a verb. No shit. Oh, so, no way. Um, my gaming streams aren't family friendly, but the Esperanto, the Esperanto streams, I try to keep it better. <laughs> so what does, what does, what does it mean as a verb? Does it just mean like the act of something happening? Like, passively happening? Like, I'm not doing anything, but this is just going on. As a verb, it's to become. Okay. So really, this is saying, like, the lesson... The teacher's starting the lesson, and then, like, the lesson is beginning to start, or it's starting to... Yeah, okay. Cool. I get that. That makes sense. Um, so, tr like, these ones are transitive, right? And they'll take objects, and then these ones cannot take an object. If I had just read that and not had you guys, I would have no idea what that meant. I would have just skipped through it. I'd have been like, uh, I don't know. I don't know what that means. Uh, attendee? To wait? To wait for someone? Like an attendant? Um, to attend to someone? So, mi atendas, I wait. Mi atendas buson, I wait for the bus. Mi atendas profiton. Uh, wow, I'm actually, uh, I surprised myself by, I'm starting to take on more words that I've never seen before without breaking them down for pronunciation. So, kion vi atendas can mean what are you expecting or what are you waiting for? Okay. But those are pretty... I think I think passive is a is a good way of putting it because like saying the door is closing that doesn't mean that somebody didn't push it at some point it just means the door is becoming closed you know what I mean ooh middle voice in Greek is a good one that's kind of the um, if I somebody once described it to me instead of middle middle voice as like invisible hand as like just something in the world is acting upon. I think there's a cat crying outside this door. I guess, I guess we're gonna have a buddy for, for my stream. Come here, come on, Rexon. Come here, fat boy. I guess now that it, now that I'm streaming on Twitch, I have to have a cat on stream, huh? Is that how it works? This is Rexon. Hi, Rexon. Can I put these back in? Are you gonna play with these? No. Okay. You be a good kitty. Uh, okay, so what are you waiting for? The combination teal kiel means as as. Oh. Oh, so do you sing as what? So this is more of a comparison, yeah? She is as pretty as my sister. Do you sing as well as she does? Does he cook as well as I do? Easy enough. Well, I guess I was already one La lesson into it. La gia patroi ne ciam malpravas. Ciam. Always or forever. The parents do not all, the parents are not always wrong. Excuse me. 
or not forever. So Chiyum, always in forever. Uh, Malpravas. So is Pravas... Is Pravas correct? Oh, I don't know why I said it that way. Is, pra is Pravas, uh, does that mean correct? So that means like not correct, wrong? Yes, I know, Kitty. Chuni. That Rajitas? To be right, to be correct. Oh, I'm right. <laughs> nice. Um, Chu. Come here. <laughs> Chuni Rajitas City. City? El Cafeo. Uh, <laughs> are you? Are we allowed? Okay. Allowed. Hmm, I don't think I have anything to remember that. Are we allowed to sit, right? City? And la cafe. Cafeo. Ni provas studi Esperanton. <laughs> Do we have the right to sit in the cafe? Sounds like righty. To be entitled to. That makes sense. To have the right to helps, actually. Stop looking at me, cat. Ni provas studi Esperanton. Um, we are trying. We are trying to study Esperanto. Sed la... Caton. Cato? Estas... Pain in my ass. <laughs> uh, Ili regardas, we are looking at. So you're regarding something, you're looking at it. Um, so we are, or they are looking at the house where we live. Ooh, or where I live. Dude, this guy's scoping out your place. Uh, Mi pravas. Mi pravas. You're right. Oh, look at that. Thanks, J. Creed. You really helped me with this one. I always want to try. Michion volas provi to try. Mi studas kun miai amikoi. I haven't seen the stories. Are those written by people or are those written by Duolingo? Um, like, is it? Automated or uh, misturas? I study with my friends. <laughs> Jesus Christ, cat. Lineshatas Li malpravi. What? Lineshatas malpravi. Whoa. There's a new. There's a new voice. Li ne shatas mal pravi. Le ne shatas. He doesn't like to be wrong. Asks you quite so it's like um reading comprehension? Like the reading comprehension test? Rex it. Rex and you butt. Can you come? Can you come around this way, buddy? There. <laughs> hey, Grieger. Nice to see you. Thank you so much for uh, the congratulations. <laughs> I like uh, 
Grieger's another streamer, and he's got a his streamer or his uh his stream is themed quite a little bit around uh, his cat Randy Butternubs, and uh, so of course the second that my cat shows up, it would summon Grieger, right? <laughs> Uh, he doesn't like to be wrong. Li neshatas malapravi? Chumi malpravas? I think they have... Oh, they've got a couple, huh? Yeah, I've never heard that audio, and it was... Is it only going to be for that one file? Chumi malpravas? Um... Am I wrong? Oh, oh, good. Chumi malpravas. Chumi malpravas? Chuvi Malpravas, am I wrong? And then it'd be it's Vipravas or v, Vipravas when you're right? Kia Vishatas Sidi. Kia Vishatas Kia? Kia Vishatas Sidi. Kia Vishatas Sidi? That's where, right? Where do you like to sit? Vipravas Studi. He studies well. He is a good study. He tries to study. I don't know where I was getting well. This cat is distracting. Is that what's happening? Ugh. See, now I'm all messing up. Yes, me pravas. Yes, me pravas. Yes, you are right. I often try to... <laughs> I often try to go, to go... I tried good. And that's like, um... Liz Lemon and the like, I want to go to there. Li provas studi. He tries to studi. Li provas studi. <laughs> yeah, I work up on night cheese. So there was a thing going around on Facebook uh, for a while that was like, what, what three fictional characters are you mashed together? What, uh... And Liz Lemon was one of <laughs> one of mine, along with um, Jane from Daria and Kaylee from Firefly. <laughs> Throw all three of those together. <laughs> Sarcastic, yet bubbly, yet ridiculous, and a mess. Me pensas que me devas mal I think. Okay, I think that. Right. I uh, so this translation doesn't have that in the word bank, so it just says I think me havas me devas. Ooh, I <laughs> I have to I have to open it malferm malfermi. I think I have to open it. Me pensas que me me pensas que me devas malfermi jin. Devas malfermi Hey! <laughs> uh, who the fuck are you? This cat has never acted like this. I don't know who this cat is. <laughs> uh, Chushi malfermas la pordon? <laughs> Chushi malfermas. Uh, does she close the door? Oh, no, opening. Oh, weird. So the root of the word fermas is closing, and so malfermas is opening. I always, ass I assume that the most of the root words would be like a positive thing, like it's bone or, or bella, and then it's, you know, then you make it not that. So I thought that opening would be the positive thing, and that it would be like fermas is open and, and malfermas would be to close, but... Is she opening the door? Chu vi jepatroi? Ooh, what? Otskultas? Otskultas? Auskultas? Like, outskultas? There, lay on that. There's a blanket for you. <laughs> I'll school toss. Okay. Chu vi gia patroi. I'll school toss vin. Do or are you? 
are your parents listening to you? Kia ilistaras? Um, where are they staras standing? Don't mix, uh, I'm gonna mix up staras with the uh, regardas, I bet. Ili montras la fructoin alla musoi. Maybe I can remember staras as in like, is standing under the stars? Ili montras la fructoin alla musoi. This cat's just losing his shit in here. Ili montras, they are showing the fruit to the fruits to the mouse the fruits to the mice many mice i think i have to open it uh mi pensas hi mi devas balfermi right open that sounded that sounded a weird that was a weird way to make that noise malfermi jin Cat hair on everything now. Uh, chumi Rajtas Fermi La Porton. So, do we have the right to close the door? Are we allowed to close the door? Uh, am, oh, I'm sorry, am I allowed to close the door? I don't know, are you in the room with a boy? La pordo de mia domo estas ruja. Uh, la pordo, the door, de mia domo, uh, of our house, estas ruja, is red. Chumi raitas ausculti? Raitas. Chumi raitas ausculti? Yeah, you're right. It, it like, literally does sound like right. Chumi raitas ausculti? Chumi raitas ausculti. Ausculti. Chumi raitas ausculti. Um, may I listen? Chuvi povas montri al mi la cevalon? Chuvi polas. Um, can you? That's can you, right? Can you montri? Can you show to me the horse? Can you show me the horse? This cat's creeping around and I'm just trying to like keep an eye on him. I did get affiliates in Esprula last night. This is actually my first stream as an affiliate. Um, I was, uh, I actually had everything to make it. I just didn't stream frequently enough. So this week, um, Sheriff Mongo and uh, my mother-in-law have done a lot of work um, watching the, the kids so I could get some extra streams in and finally make it. <laughs> They, uh, they'll start making. They start sending checks after I make my first hundred dollars, so I'm sure it'll be six months or so. <laughs> but I got my first subscription today, care of Sheriff Mongo. So I mean, that's two dollars and fifty cents, right? <laughs> um, they are showing fruits to the mice. They show the fruits to the mice. Kia la shafoi staras? Where are the sheep standing? Is that sheep? Kia la shafoi staras? Yeah. Where are the sheep standing? Thank you so much. I don't think you were here earlier, but I was saying you guys are... Um, one of the hardest things for some new streamers is that you have to have an average of like three or more viewers and you have to get 50 followers and, you know, um, all this. And uh, for some people, it's really hard for them to get three viewers all the time. Um, and if it wasn't for the, you know, six or so of you that are always on here watching me <laughs> in Esperanto, uh, you're really helping my average go up <laughs> on, the, on the gaming. Not as many people watch because there's like, you know, a thousand people playing games, but um, you guys watching the Esperanto or did a lot of the footwork for me getting to affiliate. So thank you. Line auscultas. Uh, he does not listen. He is not listening. No, definitely don't feel active, uh, feel bad about being active. There's actually, um, 
if you don't know, there's achievements for Twitch streamers, and um, some of them include like how frequent, how many people are chatting at a time, um, how many people are you know hosting and rating and stuff like that. So kind of cool. Do la urso havas laboron. The bear has a job. Okay. Is it eating carrots because it's vegetarian? <laughs> yeah, it can be. I was, uh, the hardest thing for me was putting in, you know, you have to do like seven, you have to stream seven days in 30 days, and I was only doing, <laughs> yay for the bits, Mongo. <laughs> um, God, I've got, I've got to figure out how big that is and how to fix it. <laughs> I don't even know what it is. I didn't, I've never, I've never played with them before. Um, but there's a, uh, so there's all kinds of, there's all kinds of achievements that streamers can get. So by, uh, by being active in people's, in chats, you're, you're actually helping them out a great deal. Uh, the beginner. Yes. Or the beginning, comenzo. Cause comenzanto is beginner, right? Um, the beginning is very easy. The beginning of Esperanto is very easy. <laughs> uh, Mia Petrino have us grandan ni gran telefonon. Uh, my mother, Petrino, has a large black phone. Telefonon. Look, I didn't even, I already knew what that was. I didn't have to look at it. She memoras la felicia in tagoin. Esperanto is so easy that it, uh, some of the words are just like, oh, okay. <laughs> Does that say kibitzing? <laughs> what is a kibitzing? She memoras la felicia in tagoin. Uh, she remembers the good days? The happy days. She remembers the happy days. Oh, that's sad. Is it? I guess it'd be worse if she didn't remember the happy days. Uh, polas helpi? Do you want help? Or do you... Are you able to help? Ah, uh, Can you help? How can I help you? Uh, kial mi povas helpi vin? Yes. <laughs> I had already gotten the yes, you're right, and I was like, am I right? <laughs> uh, la danzo, estas facila. Uh, the dance, right? The dance is easy. All right. Vi estas granda helpo por mi. Vi estas granda helpo por mi. You are a big help for me. For me. Mi shatas la danson. I like to dance. Or I like the dance. Um, to dance would be something else, right? Then I'd say, mi shatas... Dansi? Ili ne povas telefoni al ni. Ili ne povas telefoni al ni. Ili ne povas telefoni al ni. They... Cannot... Telephone us, so they cannot call us. Oh, so calling and telephone, same thing. Easy enough. Li comenzas studi esperanton. Um, the beginner. No, he begins. He is starting to study to study esperanto. He is starting to study Esperanto. We just did this one. Uh, Le comanzas studi Esperanto? Mia avo, mia avo, my grandmother, my grandfather. Because uh, avo is grandfather. Avo, avino is grandmother. So my grandfather has a good memory. Bonan memoran. Man, flying through this one. That's good. Vitimas iri sola. 
Be timas irisola. Timas. Okay, to be timid, maybe? To be afraid? Um, so you are afraid of going or going alone. Sola. Okay. Solo. You are afraid of going alone. Yeah, timid. Timid, I think, is, is going to be it for me. It's going to have to be t timid and solo. She ne agas ti el bone ki el vi. Uh, she ne agas. Agas. She does not. She ne agas as good as you. Or act as well as you. She ne agas ti el bone ki el vi. Agas. She ne agas ti el bone ki el vi. She ne agas ti el bone ki el vi. She ne agas ti el bone ki el vi. Vi dankas vi inge patroin. Oh, so that'd be more like age, yeah? If it was a soft G. Vi dankas vi inge patroin. Um, vi dankas. You think... Oh, like uh, Demcon? You think your Vien Geopatron parents. I always say Geopatron. G Patro. G Patron. Ili rencontas la viron. That's meeting, right? Yeah. They Ili meet the man. Ili la viron. Uh, to be accept us, Min? Do you accept me? Gay Patroin. Maybe that's why I, I keep thinking Geo. Gay Patroin. Gay Patroin. Uh, the child fears water. Le infano timas akvon. The child is timid of water. Mi volas danki vin. Mi volas danki vin. I want to thank you. Oh, so you could say, Mi volas danki vin. Danki vin? Mi volas danki vin. Mi volas danki vin. Uh, poor be help be like for your help. Me volas accepti Jin. Uh, I want to accept you or accept it. I want to accept it. Me volas agi kiel vi. Me volas agi. Um, so I want to act with you. Or is that like you? As you? Because that would be kun, right? If I wanted to act with you. Mi volas agi kun vi? Yeah, even though it's like, it always, it's always the same and it never changes. I still mess up the exact same things all the time. Uh, mi volas renconti vien patrinon? Um, I want to meet your mother. You want to go out of the room? <laughs> I'm going to refill my coffee real quick and let this cat out.
too. I gotta dole out some VIP tags, you. <coughs> some of them. All right. Drops of coffee captured. <laughs> cat gone. <laughs> We're cat free. <laughs> the cat. The cat has demands. The cat most certainly has demands. I have uh, two cats, and each of them are nearly 20 pounds each, um, and gigantic, so they can't be very demanding. They're both rescues, and both ex-feral, as you can tell by how cuddly he was. Super feral. <laughs> um, are, so does this say, are we alone, or are you alone? Are you the only one? She thanks his mother for the meal. She thank us. His mother would be Alia. She thanks to his mother for the meal, right? And that would mean to go, and that has a bunch of shit about the university. Isn't that a bunch of stuff about the university? la viron Kailin. Um, so they recount us, they meet the man and him. Mm -hmm. Mi devas usi la necesayon. Mi devas. I must. Mi devas usi? Mi devas usi la necesayon. I must use the necessities. So the nece the necessities, um, the bathroom. Mi devas usi la necesayon. Mi devas usi la necess necess. Mi devas usi la necesayon. Necesayon. Mi devas usi la necesayon. Necesayon. Mi devas usi la necesayon. Jesus, I must use the toilet. The necessary place? Oh, really? Well, that's interesting because in, um, I'm actually, I'm actually reading a, uh, well, I'm always reading a book, but I'm reading a book right now. Um, I read a lot of fantasy books and the book I'm reading right now, every time they talk about using the bathroom, they say using the, ne the necessaries. And so like it perfectly fit in with this, right? Uh, to be poor Don Asmin. Do you forgive me? To be pardon us, min? Mi petas helpon. Uh, it is called... Shoot. Um, I bought the entire trilogy, or the quadrilogy. So I know the first book was called The Warded Man. Um, it's called... I want to... Mm. I know the names of them individually. <laughs> the books individually, but not all together. The Demon Cycle um, series. Reading the Demon Cycle series, which is good. And I finished previously the Divine Cities trilogy, which is one of the most excellent bo books I've read, I've read since Name of the Wind, and I recommend it to every. I've got three friends are reading it right now, all messaging me on Facebook, this Divine Cities trilogy. <laughs> and they're all messaging me on Facebook like, can you believe it? Hmm. <laughs> I read that last year. Um, I read about, I read a couple hundred books a year, so. Maybe not a couple hundred, maybe between 100 and 200. Um, me, so I'm asking, or I ask for help. Chuvi povas attendi iomete? Hey, thanks for gifting a sub to J Creed. Oh, that's your first gift sub. So today I got my first sub, my first Twitch Prime sub, my first gifted sub, which I think as a Twitch affiliate is like pretty much a baller first, first stream, right? <laughs> it means you should be able to um, watch my channel without ads. You will have um, faster access to the chat, um, so you don't get as much of a delay. Um, if the chat's ever bombarded with like spam or something and I have to put it in subscriber-only mode, you'll still be able to chat. 
Um, gosh, what are the other things that come with uh, subscriptions? You get a badge next to your name, <laughs> which will which changes depending on how many how many months you subscribe. So um, I think at three months, six months, and a year it changes. <laughs> I meant more if, like, it's bombarded and, like, I have to turn it off. Like, if we get raided by trolls or something and it, you know, it's a bunch of people being jerks. <laughs> Thank you, Sheriff Mongo. Welcome, Sinas Perulo and J. Creed to Brujala. Uh, Chuvi Povas. Chuvi Povas. Tendi Iomete. Uh, can you wait a little? Some, right? Sushi Papa's finis and help. I'm gonna have to. I wonder how many um, badges I can give. Sure, I can give Sheriff Mongo if I make him a VIP. <laughs> Just give him all of them. Sushi Papa's finis and help. Uh, can she, uh, Chushi, can she, uh, Povas is the can, right? So that's a question. So can she, uh, finish Senhelpo without help? Can she finish without help? Chu, she, Povas, Fini, Senhelpo. Chu, she, Povas, Fini, Senhelpo. I want to finish the work. Um, I want mi volas fini la libron la la oh, sorry mi volas fini la laboron I want to finish the work tu mi papas fidi al she fidi trust okay um maybe fidelity would be the way to remember that um I guess fidelity is more We're gonna get it actually into like etymology. The degree of exactness. Well, faithfulness, right? So we'll say f fidelity is truthfulness. So, or so, yeah. Fido. Um, can. I trust her, right? Chumi, chumi povas fidi al she. Can I trust her? Chumi povas fidi al she. Man, we're getting into some deep conversations on here, yeah? Oh, they're both from the Latin faith. Are you? Are you going to be taking the um, Duolingo Latin course that they just uh, that's in beta now? So is the bath. Oh, there are two bathrooms in our house. Um, I got an email about it that it was launching. I don't know if it is already out, but are you going to be uh, taking it? Where is the bathroom? Qui estas la neceseo? Qui estas la neceseo? Qui estas la neceseo? Where is the bathroom? Chu vi finas vian laboron? Chu vi finas? Are you finishing your work? Chu vi finas? Are you finishing vian laboron? Your work, your labor. <clears throat> Li atendas nin. I was thinking I might do the Latin one after doing this, after the Esperanto one. Since uh, that'll be a good time that it might be... Uh, Oh, Arabic would be good too. That's not in beta yet, right? The that won't be out for some time. Li atendas nin. He is waiting for us. Li atendas nin. He attends to us. He's waiting for us. May. Man, that would be a good one too. Uh, you do not want to use it. Uh, vine volas. You do not want. Uzijin to use it. She ne shatas peti helpon. She does not like to ask for help. Uh, petition 
would be probably the route for this one. Uh, she does not like to petition help. Oh, graphic designers. Yeah, Arabic script and um, like Sanskrit and um, all of those. They're just like, if you're into graphic design or calligraphy or any of those, they're just, they're absolutely beautiful. There's actually, um, there's a picture online of, I think it was either the Constitution or the Pledge of Allegiance written out in Arabic to look like the American flag. And it was Gorgeous! It was just absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. I was like, I would totally put that up in my house. That's beautiful art. <clears throat> oh my gosh, guys, we, just, we passed a checkpoint. We passed a checkpoint. Look at that. Two down, one, two to go. We are at this point halfway through the Esperanto to the Lingo course. Pats on your back, everybody. Let's learn about our families. We already know a lot of these. Ooh, specialized in them? That would be very cool. I've had a couple of friends who've uh, used them across the years. And of course, since I was in the service, a lot of my friends have um, Arabic tattoos from their, their time over overseas. They're always beautiful. I will say that not everybody is accepting of them, but those people are wrong. Uh, G E. So most words relating to the family are male. We know that most things re relating to things are male in here. Um, so but E N means female and G E means both of them. Now, does G E mean both genders at once, or does that necessitate a couple? Like if I have, well, here we go. Here's a good example. So we have frato, which is brother. We have fratino, which is sister, and we have geofratoi, which is siblings. Um, so not just necessarily couples, it's just you're representing both genders of siblings. If, now, if we were both brothers, brothers, we'd be fratoi, right? Or fratinoi. Avo, avino, giavoi. This is a new one, giavoi. <laughs> were you worried it was going south real quick? <laughs> Yeah, I, I was wondering if it was going to be like a, a, like couples like that, but it just it just means both genders. Were you worried we were going to get into the, the couples discussion? <laughs> the coupling in Esperanto? Uh, and then let's see. The prefix pra means long ago in the distance. So Oh, so this means you're great. Okay. Pra avo, pra avino, pra giavoi. Pra giavoi. That's a pretty dope word. Ooh, ancient man. Pra homo, pra historo. Maybe a historic, uh, like a, somebody's historic home would be um, a pra, pra domo. The controversy is whether gifratro can mean singular. So, gifratro would mean nothing. That means, that means both genders male. Oh, because that would be like, uh, are, so they're kind of, are you saying uh, gifratro would be like, uh, oh, I see what you mean. Because that's a, but doesn't fratro mean that it's a sibling, not just a person? Because I would feel like a person of an unknown gender wouldn't be, a, wouldn't be sibling, you know what I mean? Um, and then we have amik amiko, amikino, um, and then Cora is heart friends, right? 
This is one of my favorite words in Esperanto is, uh, is the Cora Amico and Cora Amikino for heart friends are just like, I think it's just such a beautiful word. It's, a uh, very similar to the Irish have, um, Amankara, which is, uh, like a soulmate or a heart friend or like a soul friend. But I guess that's, that doesn't necessarily designate romantic relationship though, whereas this does. There's that controversy in English too, man versus woman, whatever. It's because language evolves and that's how it used to be. <laughs> I would imagine that somebody who was a person of undefined gender, you couldn't say like Jihomo, which would be like a both genders person, unless they defined as both genders, right? Chicos and chicas? But I mean, that's, then the root is, is more like cheek than it is. Yeah, you're not like taking the man and modifying it. You have a word and then you have a root for male and you have a, or a modifier for male and a modifier for female. Um, possessive pronoun sia means his own, her own, its own. How about we just call People of undefined genders, we'll call them sea homo, and then it means that they are their own person. <laughs> uh, doo -doo -doo, always refers back to the subject. So he sees his own dog, he sees someone else's dog. He sees sea hunan. Okay, so this is always, sea is always mine. Uh, so they're now in their friend's home. Kiel, we have this, right? She treats him like a brother. She tractas Lin Kiel fraton. And then we have uh, what you were talking about here earlier about the um, ages, right? So you can say how many years do you have or how much, how much are you of age? Cool. Kiom lia filo ajas? So Kiom, how many or how much his son age? So really, how how many is his son aged? How much is his son? So how old is his son? There's just oh, I forgot a word in there. That was on me. Uh, my, of course it's on me. Uh, my, my daughter, uh, Mia Fratino, Havas Nur Uno Bellinon. Oh, my sister only has one daughter. Only has one daughter. I see it more with the X than the at symbol. La filoi de la familio amas la bebon. I always thought it was Latinx. La filoi de la familio amas la bebon. The sons of the family, the family's sons, love the bebe. La cuzo? Oh, Lia cuzo. His cousin, Liacuzo Sturas in Germano, Germanio. Kiom da Gekuzo vi havas? People are playful with language like that, you know, even in language, we're always, or even in English, you know, we're changing what's up to sup and, you know, spelling thick with two C's and. Um, how many of the cousins do you have? Uh, 
<laughs> I should see her from the living room. No biting. <laughs> Sofia estas Ilia Ratino. Kiom de fratoi li havas? How many brothers does he have? Ah. Many brothers does he have? Sofia, Sofia Amas, Sofia Amas Lin. Kiel Fraton. Uh, Sophia loves him like a brother. Cool. Uh, Kilojas. Kilojas la felino de Sophia. Uh, so, where does Sophia's daughter live? Oh. Creepy questions. <laughs> like Moyosa, yeah, it makes up. Sometimes pe people say Gifratro and it catches on with some controversy. I just say it like as somebody who doesn't speak, if I saw a Gifratro, I would be like both genders of siblings. So. Uh, but that's the thing though, right? If it doesn't work with, if it doesn't work, then it dies out. And if it does work, then it catches on. What, unless you have something that like forces it like a, an inquisition <laughs> or you're like, you will adopt what we say or else. Uh, thankfully, I think Esperanto is pretty nonviolent. Um, what is your family name? Ooh. Mi amas mian familion. Last name Hilda, first name Brew. Mi amas mian familion. Uh, I love my family. Mi amas mian familion. Nate familion from Firefly. It's <laughs> dumb. Uh, <laughs> kiom, <laughs> kiom ajas liai. Kiom lia filo ze ajas? Menetsias lian familian nomon. Um, I don't know his family name. I don't know his family name. Menetsias lian familian nomon. Sophia is. Oops. Sophia is her. Her own, right? Oh, no. Shia, because we have the little hat on here. This means her. If we did not have the hat on here, it would mean her own. So here it says Sophia is her cousin. If Sophia is us, Sia Cousino, instead of Shia Cousino, then she would be her own cousin. Which might be a different connotation. How old is his son? Pilo. Nice. <laughs> I've actually, I think I've seen it earlier in these, um, I've seen it in an exercise before a couple of maybe weeks ago. Um, I'm just going to get it in the hab, I have to get in the habit of looking for the hat. Mia Edzino, my wife. My wife. <laughs> my wife loves him like a son. Mia Edzino amas amas lin kiel filo. So even though you have a, you have separate words for husband and wife, and then you have um, the heart friends to designate that it's just a romantic relationship. So I bet that there's a boyfriend girlfriend somewhere too. Um, because you can't say, like, a Mikino is, yeah, girlfriend, but it's not, like, a romantic girlfriend. So that would be when you're in Cor, 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 a Mikino is your girlfriend, right? Though I guess your wife could be in that relationship, too. Though I guess your wife could still be your girlfriend, too. 
went way down a rabbit hole. <laughs> so although there's different words for husband and wife, they would still be part of that relationship anyways. Um, Mia Patrino. Mother. <laughs> Estes La Felino is the daughter of my grandparents. Maybe. I don't know. I guess it'd be weird to call your husband, like, boyfriend or something like that, but you're still, like, in a romantic relationship. So I was trying to think of it more of, of like, not necessarily labeling people, but labeling... I don't know. Maybe there's a... May yeah, maybe. I mean, I guess everything depends on everyone's... On your particular relationship, right? Because they're never... They're all, they're all different. Um, Kyom da... Ooh, so this is both genders of friends and plural. So both genders of lots of friends. Um, so how many friends do you have? Whereas, like, I could have said, how many girlfriends do you have? How many boyfriends do you have? How many girlfriend girlfriends do you have? How many mistresses? Uh, <laughs> this is where, right? Where lives your... Children? Where do your children live? Oh, also creepy. Mia patrino I guess, estas la edzino de mia patro. I guess it's a, I guess it's only like creepy because my kid is so young. I guess if he was growing up and out of the house, it wouldn't be so weird. Uh, mia patrino, my mother, estas la edzino de mia patro. Uh, so my mother is the wife of my father. My father's wife. Adam's wife comes from France. Uh, la Edzino de Adamo, Adam's wife. Venas la Francio. Ni estas gefratoi. Gefratoi. Ne estas gefratoi. Ni estas gefratoi. Gefratoi. Um, we are siblings. Oh, I see what you mean now. Because if I didn't have the J there, it would just be... I still think that designates like a sibling relationship, though. He accidentally found an Esperanto book just out of nowhere. That's hilarious. How did, uh, how, yeah, how did you guys all learn about Esperanto anyways? Um, we want to visit our grandfathers, grandparents, because we have the G. Um, Mia Kuzo? Estas Shia Edzo, husband. My cousin is her husband. Yes. I have. Ooh. Kavar for Geofiloin. Gifiloin. Gefiloin. 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 Yes, I have four children. One. Son and three. Oh, wait. One daughter and three sons, right? Felinon, daughter. Kai, three felinon. Filoin. Added an extra syllable there. You came up, you just kept coming up on it over and over again. Uh, truly have us. Uh, do they have? Motain ge amikoin. Do they have many friends, right? What? Oh, I wrote, I clicked money. Do they have money friends? I, 
I will take some money, friends. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I started using, I started on Learno too because the, the Duolingo course didn't exist yet. And then as I was learning the, or as I was using Learno and Memorize, uh, the beta came up. <laughs> My dinosaurs. <laughs> My God, I don't want to be alive when the dinosaurs were. I wasn't that, I'm not that old. We can't be. Um, the siblings often, uh, often, often play with their cousins. Uh, so, la gifratoi, ofte ludas kun la gekuzio, gekuz, gekuzo, gekuzoi, gekuzoi. You fart us via Enzo? That looks like your husband is farting, right? Oh, it says, where does your husband fart? Kio fartas via Enzo? How does your husband fart? Mi amas mian. Mi amas mian. Ge avoin. I love my grandparents. Chu ili habas multain gami coin? Oh, yes. Do they have money, friends? Yeah, they're they're hammering it pretty hard. Probably it's so it's still which is good though because I keep I keep wanting to say Geo and Gin. La avino accetas pantalonon por sia nepo. La avino, the grandmother, because we have I know, acheta she buys pantalonon trousers for her, for her nephew. Her grandson. For her own grandson. Mia Edzo presentas shin al ni. Mia Edzo presentas. Introduces. Presents. So my husband presents her to us. Her to us. Presents is a different kind of sister wife situation. Chuvi habas du coramicoin? Do you have two boyfriends? You have two boyfriends? Cora amicoin? Chuvi habas du cora amicoin? Du cora amicoin. Bonan matenon, cara. Bonan matenon. Good morning, dear. Chu Sofia estas via cora amicoino? Um, is Sofia your girlfriend? Chu Sofia estas via Cora Emikino. Cool. Adamo is eating breakfast with his wife. Adamo uh, meten manjas, right? Uh, yeah, so one of these two. Kun sia edzino. So. Oh, it's gonna be this one. Ah, yeah! Yeah! Uh, she mantras. She shows to us your, or she shows to us our room. She shows us our room. Chambron. Chambron. Like chamber. <laughs> Bing Liddy Boop? <laughs> that, is, that is a good uh, description. Bing Liddy Boop. No, that's more like a loose clues. <laughs> you just like hearing the other the the positive noise go off over and over and over again. <laughs> you're tra it's like Pavlov. You're like you're like give me the ding, man. <laughs> uh, he us, uh, He wants to introduce me to you. Livolas presenti mia li, Livolas presenti min alvi. Ili amba dormas en la chambro. Ili amba dormas en la chambro. They is both, right? They both sleep in the room. Are they sleeping? 
<laughs> yeah, the more you help me, the more dings you get. <laughs> At this rate, I should just make it so my alert noise is the Duolingo ding. <laughs> we can just hear it more. <laughs> Uh, Lia, Fa Lia Fratro. Uh, Esa es Mia Coramico. Yeah, she's going off at all angles. Uh, it's like a drug man. <laughs> uh, his brother is my boyfriend. Your brother is my boyfriend. Kiom da chambro estas en la domo? How many bedrooms are in the house? How many rooms? It's not necessarily bedrooms. Ah! In the house. Ah. Where do they speak Esperanto? All over the world. All over. Um, Esperanto is a constructed language um, with the intention of making it easy enough for everybody to understand and learn as not a native language, but as a secondary language. And then you, if it spread to everybody, then everybody would be able to pick it up and then everybody can talk to each other without sacrificing their native language. It's just made to be easy to pick up. Um, because one of the things is, you know, um, English, for example, is starting to become more wildly spoken, but it's so difficult to speak um, and so difficult to learn if you weren't born into it that something like this um, is easier. Esperanto is also... Um, if you learn Esperanto first, it makes it easier to learn other languages, even... Um, if you learn Esperanto, it makes it easier to learn Chinese and Japanese and Polish and French and Spanish and all of that. And uh, if you speak any of those, like, uh, you know, I have, a, I have a friend who spoke purely Japanese and had trouble learning English. So she took 30 days and learned Esperanto first and then learned English and has like just killer grammar now. Yeah, totally man-made. But yeah, but made on purpose, right? It didn't it w didn't necessarily like evolve like most languages do. Um not through like conquering and language and or, you know, written histories and all of that. It's um made to be simple. <laughs> I want to introduce a friend to you. So, I want is mi volas presenti. I want to present, I want to introduce a friend, a Mikon Alvi. It does look very Spanish, like very Spanish, very French. <laughs> Sheriff Mongo is a very generous man. Mi amas, mi ancora amicon. Mi amas. So this means I love mi amas. I love mi ancora amicon. So we know amicon is friend, cora is heart. So I love my heart friend or my boyfriend. Li volas paroli kun vi pri via cora amikino. So, li, li volas, right? That's he wants again. Volas. Paroli is to speak. Kun vi. He wants to speak with your girlfriend. Oh, with you about your girlfriend. Ooh, that doesn't sound very good. Maybe she acted a fool at a party. Kiom da estas en la domo? Kiom da chambroi? Kiom da chambroi estas en la domo? Okay, so kiom da chambroi? How many rooms? Uh, rooms are in the domo, in the house. I think so. I've only got I've only got a couple of minutes left of the stream. I think I'm actually going to go up and um, I'm going to come back up here to the top, and uh, I'm going to try and uh, we'll do some everyday stuff, yeah, because this is pretty low. Um, Sophia and Adam are happy. So Sophia and Adam, they are estas. That looks a lot like Spanish, right? Estas uh, felici. They're happy. Yeah, what, what, uh, I didn't know you speedrun Hitman. 
I've uh, I think I have the first episode of that on Xbox, but uh, the new the new one. But I haven't uh, I haven't played it. I am happy. Me estas, me estas Felicia. And here we have she. She estas. She is. Tre. Very. Lasa. Oh, you know what? I've never saw this one. Um, even back in this course. So she is very tired. She estas tre lasa. So many people speedrun Legend of Zelda. So many people. I like watching the um, speedruns that they do for uh, charity. Those are some of my favorite speedruns to watch. Um, is the baby a boy or a girl? So we're going to start with Chu. Chu la bebo. We're going to do boy or girl. Felicia. Felicia. Thank you. Felicia. I always want, what am I saying? Because it looks like Felicia to me, and that's where I'm coming up with the, I'm just jamming those together. Felicia. Uh, the woman, La Verino. She works, laboras rapide. La Verino, laboras rapide. She works quickly. Oh, very cool. I think you're the, f you're the first person that's ever told me that I appeared randomly on YouTube, which is pretty cool. <laughs> because I have a very, very small presence on both Twitch and YouTube, so it's kind of cool that, that somebody found me. <laughs> or somebody was uh, exposed to me. Ooh, that's a bad word. <laughs> Maybe that's not what I mean. <laughs> um, <laughs> I go to the cafe. Mi iras la cafeo. Uh, rapide, quickly. Oh no! Oh, wrong word choice. Not necessarily wrong word, huh? I wonder if there's a discussion on this. Well, he definitely should if he doesn't already. Oh, you're learning Arabic. We were just talking about the um, Duolingo Arabic course um, maybe coming out in, what did you say, May, J. Creed? Hmm. They said report it. I forgot all. Oh. I need it for the way that I. Yeah. No, I. Uh, no, it's not going to. We were just. It's not going to come out in May, no. Well, um, I just got the invitation about the Latin course um, coming out soon. And <laughs> which one do you think will come out first? The Latin beta or the, the Arabic? <laughs> uh, so the dogs. La hundoy. The hounds. La hundoy dormas. They are sleeping. Char ili lasai. Because they are tired. Oh, no. I forgot. Estas. See, I'm going back to these early ones and bonker in it because I'm so used to doing the more complicated sentences that I'm just running over it and making dumb mistakes. Um, so, mi, et mi estas felicha, right? Mi estas felicha? I am happy. Me as a felicia. I quickly go to the cafe. Um, so me iras. I go to the cafe. No. I rapidly go to the cafe. There we go. <laughs> yeah like you don't want you don't want to learn all the boring stuff you want to be able to like walk down the market and be like that person's cute look at this fruit i like the way this smells you know <laughs> i don't know if it's sad i actually think it's kind of cool that 
I think dead languages being revived can be very good because, you know, so like going, we were, Sheriff Mongo and I were talking, if we learn this Latin or something like that, and then, you know, we're taking our kid to museums and um, historical places and stuff like that, and we can read the, the Latin that's written there, then it's not up to, you know, the, the more languages you understand, the less you can be exposed to bias because translations, you know, uh, dilute everything and translations are biased by who's writing them. So if you can speak the original language, then you know the truth, the source, the root. Yeah, it's it's such an influential language. Like, would, I'd love to be able to read, like, old documents and stuff like that. Um, and... Yeah, yeah, why is there, there's Klingon, but there's no Arabic? <laughs> uh, la handoy. They sleep, dormas. Char ilia estas la, 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 how do you, how do I say this? La si hay? La kai? Yeah, Chinese and Indonesian are big ones. I've heard, I know a couple of people who have done the Chinese. Um, I was, I recently saw John Cena on uh, Ellen DeGeneres saying that he's learning Mandarin. Lotsai? Lotsai. Okay, so the, the C is more of a TS noise, yeah? Actually, that's kind of all over Esperanto, isn't it? Dun, dun. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. And, and of course, right at the end of it, I'm like, oh my God, look at this huge epiphany I just had. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. I love it. Okay. Well, I think it's noon for me, and I think we're at a pretty good stopping point after doing some reviews of the, the earlier ones. And we finished this checkpoint today, which I'm so excited about. So we are now officially halfway through the Esperanto course. I'm I officially made Twitch affiliate. I feel like we're starting off the year really well. I think we are going to slam off, slam through Esperanto. And uh, anybody is welcome to join Duolingo as a free program at duolingo.com. And you can add me. I'm Brew Hilda. And uh, I don't know. See if you can catch up. Maybe we can race. <laughs> we'll see who finishes the course. But I'm hoping to finish this course and then play some games in Esperanto too, which should be a lot of fun. Um, it's going to be great. I'm super jazzed. So um, in the meantime, guys, we are going to go visit Whoop. we're gonna go visit um man witch muncher actually uh actually no we're gonna do raven's call i lied we're gonna go visit raven's call because he's playing some retro games and uh i think that'll be that'll be pretty fun a little bit more fun than just watching all the same Fortnites and <laughs> PUBGs and everything else. So thank you for coming today. Jis la revido and dank on multi. Uh, please follow me on uh, Twitter at HeyBrewHilda um, or on Twitch at JustBrewHilda. And, uh, well, not just Hilda, but Brewhilda. <laughs> and we'll see you again for this next week. And we'll see you for the gaming throughout the week. Thank you. <laughs>